Hi there, thanks for joining us. I'm Chris McKinnon with the WBZ News Update for you. Our top stories today, a Lakeville father dies while out for a swim with his children on Cape Cod. 50-year-old John Lima was in Pocasset Harbor last night when witnesses say he began struggling in the water about 50 feet from shore. One man says his children were trying to keep him afloat. Firefighters responded, pulled Lima out of the water, but he did not survive. The leader of an LGBTQ veterans group will oversee Boston's St. Patrick's Day Parade. Brian Bishop is the CEO and founder of OutVets. The group marched in the parade in 2015, but the former organizer banned them last year because of their rainbow flag. That decision was ultimately reversed. Bishop, an Air Force veteran, told The Globe his hiring is one more step forward. This morning, Olympians are swimming Boston Harbor to help fight cancer. More than 50 Olympians will jump into Boston Harbor for the 22nd annual swim across America. They swim 22 miles in a relay around the Boston Harbor Islands. Every swimmer raised at least $2,000, which will go towards cancer research and trials at Dana-Farber and Mass General Hospital for children. Now let's get a check of our forecast with meteorologist Danielle Niles. Hey, Danielle. Happy Friday, Chris. Some beautiful weather to end the week today. Sun and clouds mixed in 75 to 80 at the coast, about 80 to 85 inland today. A little more humid than it was yesterday, but nothing oppressive. Let's time out the threat for some showers and storms this week. And our Saturday, starting with a little bit of sunshine, the clouds will win out at times tomorrow, but they're the high thin clouds. So they'll just filter the sunshine from time to time. Most of the day is dry until the evening. That's when we may see a few pop up storms, central New Hampshire back through Vermont. And there may be one or two that come through during the evening, right around or just after sunset into the first part of the overnight as well. Sunday morning, a Cape shower possible. Then we get breaks of sunshine. Sunday will be warm and more humid. You're going to feel the difference as the dew point climbs into the 60s. There'll be some pop up thunderstorms. This may be a little bit overdone, but you get the idea. I don't think it's worth canceling the plans on Sunday if you have outdoor plans, but it is worth having a back. Backup plan to seek shelter indoors should a storm head your way. A couple of the storms could be on the stronger side on Sunday. 90 to start next week. Humid too. 92 on Tuesday with some strong late day thunderstorms that may linger as some rain into Wednesday morning, turning less humid through the middle part of next week with highs in the 80s. Chris. All right, Danielle, look good. Thank you very much. I'm Chris McKinnon. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.